Chris, how um, well, obviously, things happen. You know, things happen in the game. I mean, I haven't really seen the incident, so until we we re review it, um, you know, we're not going to really discuss it at, at this time. So, um, I thought the boys adjusted really well, um, and unfortunately, we couldn't hang on till the, till the death to get that point. Uh, well, to, to be honest with you, I, you know, I haven't been around Joey all his career. All I can do is judge Joey on how he's been since I've been in post, and he's been fantastic. He's been a fantastic professional, um, and you know, it's, it's an incident that probably we wouldn't have wanted to happen. But you know, I thought the players reacted well to um, to keep going for that long with ten men, and. Um, one of the problems I think we, we have had most of the season is that we, we haven't concentrated right to the end and unfortunately all that work rate um, you know I wouldn't say gone to waste because a lot of positive things came out of it but it's just unfortunate that the boys couldn't really get that point after working so hard. Have you actually seen the incident Chris? Because you know it's no. absolutely clear cut red card which has left you fighting to mm. stay up, mm. down to ten men for an hour, mm. you know, and you almost sound as if, well, you know, glossing it over, is that? No, I'm not glossing it over, but the, 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 there's no point in me really um, coming out here and, and making statements when I haven't seen it, and I would rather it, um, look at it in the cold light of day when uh, tempers and emotions have calmed down, and then uh, discuss it with a player um, at, that, at that point. If you, if you sort of look at it and you, you see what, what we've had a chance to see, perhaps a little bit better, it's not great. Mm. Is there a question over Joey's captaincy credentials and sort of record he has? No. No, there's no no question over it. I mean, like I said, all the all the players have been you know absolutely fantastic over the last um, couple of weeks. Um, you know, obviously he he he's going to miss some games now, which is going to um, you know be disappointing for us. But um, I'm sure that he'll lend a hand around the place, making sure that the young players who, who might have to come in um, understand their roles. And um, basically, we'll have a chat when um, when I see him next, which will probably be on Sunday or Monday, and you know, decide on what the plan of action is then. You said, you, you said when you, when he was getting seven yellow cards in a row. Um, you said you don't want to uh, take the edge off him, you know, mm -hmm. he's a wholehearted player, mm -hmm. would you revise your opinion of that if, if he's, this moment of madness has put you in a position where you lose the game, you know, would you change your opinion about, about the yellow cards? About, about saying you don't want to take the edge off him because there he is again, an eight card, and this is a red card. Well, listen, it's, it's always uh, difficult when you have players who do have that bit of edge and trying to get their, their emotional control is the thing that we need to get under wraps, and I'm sure um, if the incident isn't a good one once we re reviewed it, I'm sure Joey himself would be the first one to put his hand up and um, and, and and admit that you know he probably should have acted in a different manner. But as far as going in there now um, and 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 dealing with it in this situation, I think I've got to look at the positives that came out of the game and look at. Um, Trying to build the team up for the next game. Do you actually have a disciplinary code? Yeah, the club does, does have a disciplinary code. You or is it the club? Or well, the, 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 the club will have one, and I'm sure the players will probably have one amongst themselves as well. One of those positives to take perhaps be the uh, debut of uh, Darnell at the right back. Did really well, didn't he? Yeah. Did really well. Yeah. And I, I was really pleased, really pleased for him. He did really well. You see a player having a bit of the academy. Well, I haven't seen him for a young age because I've only been here four months, but I've worked with him um, along with uh, um, his dad, Paul, and uh, Paul Hall, um, and, and Steve Gallen. You know, they've they've all worked with him, so um, fair play to them. I think that because he's so young and it was his first game, Joey felt that he had to try and help him out. Because obviously, after that challenge, he was getting some kind of flat. That that could that could have been that could have added to 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 the um, to the incident and um, 
you know, and, it, and that's why I'm saying that the camaraderie amongst the players is quite good. And it, you, you know, it could have add, added to it. You know, like well, till I see it or till I speak to Joey, um, I won't be able to really make a, a clear comment on that. Did he say anything in the dressing room afterwards? To to you, to the, Joey. Joey or to his teammates? Uh, well, Joey apologised straight away yeah. to the boys. He apologised, but we didn't really want to want to um, um, harp on about that situation at the time. We were just we were in a situation where we got ten players on the pitch, and the main thing was was us to try to find a format to um, keep the point that we already had at half time. You pleased with the second half? Obviously, it took until the very end, but you also had a bit of a shuffle at half time. It yeah, very, very pleased with the way that they played. Um, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm more disappointed for the hard work that seems to have gone down the drain than anything. Um, but you know, we had a little bit of a reshuffle. We, we, we had people playing in different positions and that. But I thought that everybody did their part. Did their part.